Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm sharing another Christmas in July DIY project. So let's get started. Here are the materials I used for this project. I went to Michael's and I picked up two letters, a J and a Y, and they were already in black, which was perfect. Then at the dollar store I picked up a couple of green vines. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, but we'll see. And then I am either going to need E6000 or some hot glue. And then of course that is wire that I'm going to be using. And then I picked up some wood from Lowe's, a 1x3, um, in about an 8 foot length I think it was. And then some wood glue so that I can attach the letters to the wood. I always find wood glue works better when I am attaching wood on wood. And then some stain. I picked up this stain from Michaels with my coupon for 40% off, so it was a pretty good deal. So the first thing I did was I laid out my piece of wood and just put the letters down where I thought I wanted them to eventually sit and then just made a quick little wreath with, the, with one of the green um, vines just to see how much wood I would need to cut. From my eight foot length and I ended up making the both pieces 26 inches in length. So now I'm just going to measure it, uh, mark it and then take it to my uh, saw to cut my two pieces. Once I had cut the pieces of wood and given them a good sanding and a quick dusting, I then went back to my uh, table and just started to, to apply a coat of the stain, just a thin coat, and I used just a piece of paper towel to apply the stain, and it went on really, really nice, and it gave a nice weathered look, which is what I was going for. And be sure to come follow me over on Instagram. I like to share all kinds of things, whether it's home related, decor related, DIY projects, or even just what I'm doing in my life. I like to share those things, so come by and say hi. Now, after I'd applied a thin coat of stain to the pieces of wood, I just set them aside to dry. And it really didn't take very long because it was such a thin coat. But to make sure that it was dry, I let it set for a good few hours. Now, I could not find a wreath form, a pre-made form, that was the right size that I wanted. They were either too big or too small, and I remembered I had this wire at home from the dollar store, so I made my own by just wrapping it among, around itself. And it was great because then I could make it as big or as small as I needed, and I could manipulate it after it was all made. Then I had to decide which green piece from the dollar store I was going to use, either the boxwood look or the other piece, which I ended up using for the base part because it looked more like Christmas greenery. And here I'm just making sure that my wreath form is not too big uh, for the letters. So there's the boxwood that I loved, I loved, but it just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it and I decided to go with the other piece. So then I just cut it up into pieces before I started gluing it onto the wreath form. And if you aren't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and join me here each week as I share more things home related. And if you're enjoying this video, if you like these kind of uh, projects and DIY projects and home decor, give this video a thumbs up. So here's the base of my wreath all finished, but as you can see, there, you can still see the wire through it. So now I'm just going to go back through with all the extra pieces and cover up that wire. And then I decided to add in some of the boxwood 
I just love the look of boxwood so I decided to add it in to give the wreath a bit more texture and it really really made a difference. Let's go outside. Snow is falling down and every child is having And here's a look at the finished wreath. I am so pleased with it. It was so easy to do and it didn't take very much in the way of materials and I love the added touch of the box but I think it was the perfect little touch to add in the end. Get all the Christmas songs that we love. And this video is part of a DIY invite collaboration hosted by Sonia from The Domestic Diva. And if you haven't checked out her channel, I will be sure to leave a link below as well as a link to the playlist to check out all the other lovely ladies who are participating in this collaboration. You won't be sorry. I know there's going to be some really fabulous DIY projects. And Sonia does some amazing, amazing DIYs. So be sure to check out her channel as well. So once the wood was dry and uh, the wreath was all ready to go, now it was time to start putting my sign together. So then I just had to decide which side of the wood would look the best and figure out where I wanted the letters to go and fit the wreath on. So that's all I'm doing here is just giving a measure. I took the measurement of the middle part, which is where I want to place a nail so I can just hook the wreath on it because this will be the top part of the sign and I just nailed a, a little tiny picture nail into the wood so I could hang the wreath from it. Then it was time to start gluing on the letters so I just marked out three inches from each end. I figured that was a good spot to put the letters and then I placed them on the wood in the middle of it and traced around the bottom of the letter so that I knew exactly where I wanted to glue these onto the wood. So that's what you're going to see me do here. I'm just making sure that the wreath will fit in between and then I will trace around, add my glue and place the letters back on. So I'm going to be using some wood glue. As I mentioned at the beginning, I just find wood glue holds and bonds wood on wood so much better than using hot glue or E6000. So that's what I'm going to use here. And a little bit does seep out, so I just made sure I had a paper towel very handy so I could wipe around and get most of the excess that squished out. And once the letters were glued on, I set this part of the project aside and let that wood glue cure for about, I would say, at least two hours before I went back to uh, finish up the project. So once the wood glue was dry on the bottom, it was time to apply the top part of the sign. So I took the second piece of wood and marked the middle again, just so I could have some sort of reference when I started to place the top part of the sign on the letters. So then I just added my wood glue again to the top part of the letters and place the wood back on as best I could. But then I did take a little level that I had to make sure that the ends were lined up perfectly. And then once it was all lined up and all set, I let that part of the project dry for another two hours. And I think I let this dry overnight just to be on the safe side to make sure everything was dry and secure before I moved it again. So once I was letting the wood dry, I decided that the wreath needed a little something. And if you watched my last video, my last project, you saw that uh, I mentioned that I am in love with this forest green for Christmas this year. So I had a little bit of that ribbon left over and I had this white poinsettia with the sparkly center already in my Christmas stash. So I thought I would add it to the wreath. and. I think it just elevated this project once again. I loved it. I loved the green ribbon and the white poinsettia added to it. Now I'm just going to spruce up the ends of the ribbons by cutting the little dovetail ends and that was it for this project.
And here's the finished project. I am in love with this sign. I was inspired by something I saw in a video by, I think I was watching the Sparkly Blonde. I can't remember, but I saw something similar and I am so pleased with this. And this is sitting on my kitchen counter. I'm not sure at Christmas time where I'm going to put it, but I did love it in here and uh, I think it looks so pretty. I am so happy with the poinsettia and the ribbon added to it and everything. I love the color of the wood. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it at Christmas time. I loved it here, but then I took it into my living room and placed it on my fireplace mantle because I always have a garland in there on the mantle and I loved it here too. I could see it sitting here with my garland um, at Christmas time and I think it would be so beautiful with the lights from the garland on it. But I'm really loving this sign. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and it inspired you to get creative and start thinking about what you might do for Christmas time. It's never too early to get going on it because, because then, let's face it, then we don't have as much to do at Christmas and we can really enjoy. So thank you so much guys. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will be sure to talk to you in my next one. Bye! I've been waiting for this, yeah It's been up on my mind Oh, it's hard to read